Hey everyone, this is Shaman from Rocket Ship HQ, the mobile user acquisition agency that helps you acquire users sustainably and capital efficiently. In this video, I'm going to talk about attribution and why the approaches to, to attribution that work on the web don't work on mobile and what approach does make sense for mobile. So a client I was working with asked, why wouldn't you just use a URL and add UTM tags at the end and be done with it? Now, uh, this particular developer had been running paid marketing campaigns on Facebook ads. They've been tracking performance on the Facebook SDK. As they grew, they were like, right, can we look at other channels? And I said, sure, you can run, certainly run other channels, other networks, but in order to measure and track all of them, you would have to put in a mobile attribution uh, platform. And that's what had prompted this question from them as to why we couldn't just add a UTM tag at the end of uh, the URL, the app, iTunes URL or the Google Play URL, and basically track performance using that. Now, this obviously had me thinking about why fundamentally do we need attribution? And I would like to explain that to you guys on this video. It's helpful to understand how attribution happens on the web. On the web, if you want to be uh, tracking multiple sources of traffic, you add a URL toward the end of the, uh, you add a UTM tag toward the end of the URL. Now, if you are directing traffic to, let's say, website.com, you're going to add UTM source equals Facebook, UTM medium equals new users, UTM campaign equals Halloween, so to speak. And you can use whatever source medium campaign that you would like, basically. And when the user clicks on the URL, the various UTM parameters get passed by a cookie to analytic systems and analytic systems record what source medium campaign this particular user came from, right? So that's really how web works. And you can basically compare different sources, media, and campaigns to each other. Now, why is mobile different? Uh, why couldn't you just say itunes.apple.com slash yada yada and UTM source equals Facebook, UTM medium equals new users, UTM campaign equals uh, Black Friday, for instance. Why, why wouldn't you be able to do that? Uh, and the key difference with mobile is you don't track, you aren't able to track users via cookies on mobile devices. That's a very, very important and key distinction. When a user clicks on a URL, they go to the App Store, which is iTunes or Google Play, uh, and oftentimes there isn't even an explicit URL, especially in networks such as Facebook and Snap. The user clicks on the ad and they go through to the App Store, and in the App Store, they hit Install Now or Download Now, and then they basically install the app. Now, the, unlike the web, there's just no way for cookies to be persistent during the user's journey from the URL or the ad to the app store to the app. This basically makes it impossible for UTM parameters to be used to consistently and for us to be able to record different acquisition sources on mobile. Now, what's the solution? The solution is that we need a completely new approach and this has spawned a uh, mini industry a niche and there are companies that have raised millions of dollars that are dedicated to solving this problem on mobile. Uh, this approach basically is the one based on device identifiers, IDFA for iOS devices, Android IDs for Android devices. Each mobile device has a unique device identifier and by tracking and matching a device identifier before and after an install, each install can be tracked to its source. Each registration purchase or any post install event can be tracked to its source. Right? And here's how this would work in practice. So uh, an advertiser sets up a source in the attribution system or sets up a link. Uh, and the moment a user sees a link, sees this particular ad, let's just say user sees an ad on Facebook or user sees an ad on a display ad network, then the user's device ID, which is the IDFA 
or the Android ID gets recorded by the attribution system. User goes to App Store, user downloads, and when the user downloads, the uh, attribution SDK gets initialized. And when that happens, the attribution system says, oh, this is actually the same user that saw the ad over here, right? And the, users, the attribution system basically puts two and two together and says, person saw ad through Facebook or Snapchat or display ad network and person installed right here. And of course, if the user makes a purchase, the attribution system identifies this person as the exact same person that saw the ad some time ago. So that's really how attribution works. Uh, and certainly you can uh, code a campaign and creative while you set up a source in an attribution system, but the essential way in which this uh, system tracks and measures source-wise performance is by looking at uh, IDFAs or Android IDs. Right? Uh, of course, the end result is roughly similar to what you get on the web in that you see which source is driven you the best performance, which campaign is driven you the best performance, uh, but the essential methodology is different and uh, you typically require a third party attribution provider to be able to track your mobile app campaigns rigorously, right? Some of the prominent ones are just AppFlyer, Coachella, Singular. Uh, you, sh you can, you know, feel free to reach out to any of them. I hope this was somewhat helpful. Uh, for more tips, pointers, and strategies from the cutting edge of user acquisition, please uh, visit rocketshiphq.com or hit subscribe to our YouTube channel right here. Thank you.